We are leaving Spanish Wells today to go through Current Cut on our way to Eleuthera. 10 knots? We can't go against a 10 knot current. That's not possible. All right, so we're kind of in the washing machine here. We are down to two knots, 2.8 right now, and I've picked the engines up and I am fighting it. it Let's change our story, let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. The morning that we left Meek's Patch to go through Current Cut was wild. We had been up most of the night due to storms. They were kind of unexpected. They dropped a lot of rain. We had a ridiculous amount of rain last night. Our dinghy was completely full of water. So we had to bail that out. Now we've got it lifted. We are trying to get out of here because it gets rougher by the minute. We found a lot of leaks that we didn't know we had. So we still don't know where they're coming from, but we know water was coming inside, dripping into our beds. We had been protected all night from the wind. By morning, it had shifted north and we were no longer protected from the wind. It was not supposed to do that till later in the day, but we woke up to these huge waves in the anchorage. The boat was bouncing up and down. I had back, it looks like maybe they're our two buddy boats are having trouble getting their anchors up. It's pretty wild in here. We've got the two engines, so we're able to kind of maneuver on it a little easier, I think. And we got to make this cut at the right time. If we don't time it properly, we will not get through it, or it will be an extremely wild ride to the point where you have very little control. So that is why there's just this urgent push to get there. So that's what we're doing. Anyways, onward. Current cut is named for a reason. The current apparently can be as high as, what I think it said 10 knots. We can't go against a 10 knot current. That's not possible. We can't travel at that speed. So it's certain times a year that it's that fast. Most of the time it's about four knots. Um, so we're trying to time that up well and get over there at the right time. It's very confusing though. We've had daylight savings time and apparently some of the tide turfs don't adjust for that. And we have to go so far off Nassau to get it right. So we'll see what happens. So we're getting ready to go through current cut. I don't know if you can tell by the sea state behind me, but it is a little bit rough. Well, we thought we had a time pretty well, but the current is coming at us. We were traveling at about six and a half knots, but now we have slowed down to somewhere around four knots. And it, it's wild. <laughs> We're kind of in the washing machine here, and it looks like about 100 yards in front of us, the washing machine is gonna stop. We are two hours past high tide. This should have been a fine time to go, but we've lost about four knots of speed. We've slowed down to around three knots. The current is that strong. Woo. Okay, all right, all right, all right. That's why they call it current cut. Woo. Okay, I just got called on the VHF too, so I was trying to talk to them. about a knot of speed again, but it was pretty rough there for a minute. Um, we are gonna go the straight route or the shallow draft route. I read it low, there's still like eight and a half feet of water, but I can, if you guys wanna go that way, I can yell at you if we, if we get to shallow water. Okay, I, I think I'm just gonna go kind of the, the straight out route. We're gonna get out there and put up some sails and sail for a while. Sounds good, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go straight. All right. Yeah, it feels much less uh, out of control. Yeah, yeah, that that right back there is the way to get to the tide, making everything super bumpy. It's so hard to find, right? I agree. Yeah, I think 
agree. That was pretty wild. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm glad everybody's uh, appreciated. Yep, stand by the 16th. We are just under sail and we are doing, well, up and down. We've seen 6.8 knots. We're kind of pounding into it. I think the swell's just wrapping around the corner of the island here. The island kind of does a jog, so hopefully we get past that and the swell will die down. We'll see. We've been sailing for the last, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Engines are off and we're doing between six and a half and sometimes as high as eight knots. The sea state is probably less than ideal. Um, kind of choppy if you're picking up on that in the background. But we had, uh, we started off in the rear and we have overtaken our friends. You can see them behind us as Jim and Cherie on SV Sedacious. And up here in front, let's see if you can see them. I hope you can see them. That's the sea rat, we're about to overtake them. In a few minutes. We are flying. That's, I really didn't expect this boat to sail that fast. The glass window, if you don't know, it is an area of Eleuther that's very narrow and has a bridge. And on one side, you have the flat, beautiful, clear Bahama shallow water. And on the other side, you have the roaring, deep, dark blue ocean. And usually it is roaring and it is making huge waves that splash up on the rocky cliffs at that area. So it's a really neat place. And also the water can kind of come through a spillway sort of thing into the calmer side of the water. So we're gonna go check that out, see what that looks like and it should be interesting. Log stand for exactly, Corey. <laughs> You've been doing it longer than I have, you know. <laughs> I just want to hear your interpretation. Well, it's a spin-off of blog. Uh-huh. I don't really know what the B stands for with blogging. That's what I'm but curious about. But V-logging is video logging. Uh-huh. So B, what would that be for? I have no idea. Huh. Do you? I have no idea. <laughs> We're just out here doing it. Yeah. We are approaching the glass window and Ben has promised me that this is well worth the four mile hike that we just made. went in it, then Ella went in it, then I went in it. And we all got our picture taken in it. So I'll just go back and pull him. Got the one that had a snake in it. What? No. <laughs> The glass window was cool and definitely a must-see yeah. if you're coming to the Bahamas. However, for us, the feature of this anchorage that excited us the most was exploring the rugged terrain and underwater sea life. Let's meet down at the lonely lake. Before summer has gone away. Oh. 
Becky, do a, do a quick line, set it up. <laughs> we are at the Where did it go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we, we are having campaign at the Queen's staff. <laughs> I'm gonna catch.